everyone, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm drawing a little herd of zebra and I'll paint them with watercolour. So I start by drawing all of their outlines and get all their details in and then I'll get on to the painting. But as you'll see, I work around, I do one zebra at a time and then I work on where I want to place them on the page and I make a few adjustments here and there and like at the end of the drawing I add a foal, I rub out a piece of one zebra and add a foal. Um, but yeah, once I'm happy with the composition then I go in with watercolour. Now I start on the zebra and I go in with transparent sienna and I do that just to all the stripes on all the zebra. It adds a little bit of warmth so that when I go over the top in the, the next layers and I add the greys and the darker colours, a little bit of that warm colour pops through and it just makes them look so much nicer. Um, so I do that on all of the zebra. So now I go around the background of the zebra and I add indigo, um, just a very diluted mix of indigo and I take that all around the zebra and I will do that in a couple of layers um, just to slightly darken up different areas and I'll also add some green underneath which you see I'm doing now and I'll add a few grass textures after but then I go around and I darken up the indigo again and just do another wash around all of the zebra. Now I start on the stripes of the zebras again and I go in with a mix of burnt umber cobalt blue which makes a very dark grey and I take that around all of the stripes of the zebras until they're, and I, until they're all done and then I add um, stronger consistencies of the same colour to the darkest areas so under their bellies, under their necks, you'll see that I'll darken up and add deeper darks in the shadow areas.
Now onto their shadow areas. I add a very diluted solution of cobalt blue and I just take that underneath their bellies anywhere that's going to be in complete shadow on all of these zebra. And I also add a darker green and some shadows into the grass underneath all the zebra just to help ground them a little bit more. And I add a little pop of yellow, a little pop of colour to the tops of the zebra just to add some light in there, a bit of warmth. Um, and I thought yeah, it'd be a bit of fun just to add a little pop of colour. And then I finish off with the shadows. And we are coming to the end of this picture, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I release a new video. Thanks again for watching. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you next video. Okie doke. Bye.